Now I'd like to invite the children to join me up front for our children's sermon. Hey, guys, come on over here. Have a seat at the big, right over here or on the pew if you'd like. Welcome back. You guys doing okay? Good, good, good. How's the weather? Keeping an eye on the weather? Okay. This is our weatherman, Anderson. He, he lets me know if it's going to be raining before, before it rains, not like during it. So very good. Okay, I have a question for you. Mike, I have a question for you. Do you have a favorite food? Okay. Do you have a favorite food that you could eat every day and every meal if you could? What is it? Soup? Okay. All right. What about, we had earlier today, we heard pizza. What about pizza? You think you could do pizza every day? Donuts. Okay. Those are very good. Well, let me share with you. Okay. What is this? It is a hot dog bun. This is my son Paul's favorite food. Now, he does get adventurous and get the whole hot dog with the weenie and, and the bun, but he goes crazy just for the hot dog buns alone. He can eat two or three or a dozen if he could. Now, also, this is the Wonder Bread hot dog bun. My son has become a connoisseur, an expert of hot dog buns. So we have made the mistake before of offering him other types of hot dogs. And he says, Father, this is not the kind that I'm used to. Of course, he says it in a much more energetic way. So he loves his Wonder Bread hot dog buns. Now, Paul eats hot dogs. You guys eat soup and pizza and donuts to fill your tummies, right? When you get hungry, you want to fill the tummy. And you also do it so you can have energy to jump up and down, run around, and just be awesome kids, right? Now, in our gospel, Jesus says that he is the bread of life. Now, this is a different kind of bread from a hot dog bun. The bread of life does not fill our stomachs. It fills our what? What's over here? Very good. It fills our heart. Very good. So this bread gives our heart the fuel to go on. Our heart, the, it gives it the strength to go on. Now this bread comes in many different forms. Well, of course, it does come in the food that you eat for your tummies. But it also comes in the form of Bibles with the Word of God. It also, like every week, we give you a bulletin where you have scripture and prayers and songs and, 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 and the lyrics, the words to the songs in it. So that is bread of life. Of course, prayer is another bread of life gift. Family and friends. So these are the gifts. These are the bread that gets our hearts moving for Jesus. So this is what I want you to do this week. I have one little assignment for you, okay? It's not homework, it's church work. See what I did there? Okay, all right. I want you to fill up on these gifts. I want you to fill up on good food, get that soup going, those donuts, but also fill up in reading stories from the Bible, praying, being with family and friends. And in that way, not only are you fed, your hearts are fed, you guys become living bread for your family, for your friends, and your neighbors. Because we all are hungry. We are looking for something that fills our hearts. And we know that something, that something is someone. That's Jesus, the living bread of life. So I want you guys to show people Jesus this week and share that bread that feeds all of us. Okay? Now, if you will stand up.
we are doing a prayer here at the font. Everybody get to your favorite corner. Come on over here, Micah. You can even use your footsies if you'd like. There you go. There you go, right there. Okay, Melissa, Vanessa. Okay. And repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for being the bread of life. And show us how to share this bread with everyone. Amen. And on the count of three, you know what we do. One, two, three, peeps. So good to see you guys. Thank you. Here you go, elbows.